In this video, we will try to refine our search criteria so that like we can get a response from our text file only rather than getting a response in a generic sense. So as we have seen, our LLM model was not able to understand okay, what particular author information we are asking about and it was giving a very generic information over there. So just to route it to our specific file, we are going to pass our system prompt as well. Earlier, we were just directly asking a query, but now actually we are going to pass some specific instruction via system prompt so that our LLM would be able to understand okay what exactly are we asking over here and what exactly it needs to provide. To define your system prompt you can create a folder over here as a prompt and then you have to define a file as a system.st so instead of system you can just name it based on your requirement but the suffix should be .st. Now in this one you can see like I am just asking it you are assisting with the question about the information given in the text file. This text files contains the information about the author's life. Use the information from the document section. Here you can see I am specifically asking it to use information from the document section and use this one to provide the accurate answers about the author. If unsure, simply state that you don't know and please don't reply considering this as generic. So this line I have added because in our last call, it was giving like very generic information because I have mentioned the documents over here. So I have to pass the information about that document. So here I'm just stating, okay, this is going to be my document. And under this, you can see under this curly braces, I'm passing this particular variable. Now we have to fill this particular variable with the information. And for that, we are going to go to our AI service. The rest of the things are going to be seen where we are, you know, loading our text, passing our file, a blank token splitter to split that into multiple documents and then performing the similarity search with some refined criteria. And then we have introduced a new method over here. This is going to be get system message. And then because we have to pass this particular prompt in the system message. So we have to utilize this new system prompt template. And under this, we are going to pass this system prompt. Now this system prompt, you can see we are again retrieving it as a resource from our class path, like we were receiving our text file. So we can pass this system prompt into a new system prompt template. Now this would give us a system prompt template. And then using this system prompt template, we can map our prompt document variable with the actual document information. And to get this actual document information, you can see whatever list of document we are getting it from this similarity search criteria, we are just taking that and then converting it into a string. So we have converted this document into a stream format, different document object, we have converted it into a string using this entry dot get content. And after that, we are just joining all those string content with the new line separator. So this is nothing much. So that's why you can see the output is going to be in the form of string only. So now once you get this data, you, we can just map it over here. This is going to give us a system message and this particular message, we can just returning it over here. And that's why the return type is coming as message. Now we would go to our controller class. Now in this controller class, you could see like few more things. So now we have two things. So one message we are getting via query and another message we are going to get via system. Now we have to convert all this into a prompt so that like it can be passed to a chat model. So to convert it into a prompt, first of all, what we have to do is to take this query and convert it into a user message. And this is how we can convert a particular string into a user message just by passing it under this user message. If this is going to give us a user message. And then we have already defined a method to return a system message. This is what we are going to do over here. So we are passing our get system message and passing our documents in this particular method and then it's going to give us a message and this we are calling as a system message. Now we have to combine both and convert it into a prompt. So for that we are invoking this prompt method and under this we can also pass our list of system and user message. For that we are relying on this list. Now you can see in this particular prompt we can also pass a list of messages and this is what we are using over here. So we are passing a list of system and user message and this will help us to create a prompt and once we get a prompt then it would be very easy to pass it to a chat model and then the same method we are going to navigate to till the get content method and here I want to get a response in the JSON format so I have just defined a key as a response and the output what I'm going to get from here is going to be value of it and because I'm returning a map over here so the return type is going to be map of a string and a string. Now let me try to run this code the endpoint is going to be AI chat 
so this code is up and running i will just convert this endpoint i will just make it ai chat again i'm going to ask same question let me try to hit this endpoint now and now you can see we are getting the expected output it hasn't given any generic information because we have asked it to defer the data what we are sending it and just reply based on the information which we have provided and then you can see we have got a response so while growing up the author primarily focused on writing and programming outside of school he wrote short stories and other things and this is what the expected output this is the correct output we were hoping to get so this is how actually you can search and interact with any kind of text data you have that's all for this video thank you for watching